Hi, this is Pat with Pat's Two Cents. I am going to read a scripture. Time just got away from me and I don't really have the time to do a full sermon, but I asked the Lord what he would like for me to read. And this is what he gave me, Deuteronomy chapter five. And while I read this, go off your checklist and see which ones of these do you keep and which ones of these do you not. And take notice of the longest verses that cover subjects that you may not have thought was all that important. Listen to this. <clears throat> this is Deuteronomy 5, starting at chapter, uh, starting at verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Thou shalt have none other gods before me. Thou shalt not make thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Hmm. Keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it, as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee six days Thou shalt labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy ox, nor thine ass, nor any of thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates, that thy manservant and thy maidservant may rest as well as thou. And remember that thou wast a servant in the land of Egypt, and that the Lord thy God brought thee out thence through a mighty hand and by a stretched out arm. Therefore the Lord thy God commanded thee to keep the Sabbath day. Honor thy father and thy mother, as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee, that thy days may be prolonged and that it may go well with thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Verse 17, thou shalt not kill, neither shalt thou commit adultery, neither shalt thou steal, neither shalt thou bear false witness against thy neighbor. Neither, neither shalt thou desire thy neighbor's wife, neither shalt thou covet thy neighbor's house, his field, or his manservant, or his maidservant, his ox, or his ass, or anything that is thy neighbor's. Verse 22, these words the Lord spake unto all your assembly in the mount out of the midst of the fire of the cloud and of the thick darkness with great voice, and he added no more, and he wrote them in two tablets of stone and delivered them unto me. So I hope and pray that blesses you. I may have messed up a few words. I'm rushing because I got to hit the road in about 10 minutes, and I'm going to try hard to upload this video. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Be encouraged. Don't let your hang hang low, don't let your head hang low and don't give up the fight, the good fight of faith. God bless you and pray for me as I get on the freeway. Amen. Amen.